Hi everybody, back with another video. Um, this one is on more Arabic and just the other day, Saturday, well that would be more than the other day or just the other day. Hmm. Well, it is my other day. I'm rambling on. Anyways, Saturday, if I'm right, which I believe I am, I picked up a book called Easy Arabic Script. Oh, it's backwards. Stupid camera. Yeah, it's backwards. No, it's upside down. But that's because I put it upside down. Anyways, as some of you know, I'm learning Arabic among some other languages. Um, in the near future, I will put up my horrible attempt to speak those two. But for now, this is the second Arabic video I'm doing with corrections. Actually, I think I only need one correction. Um, what is your name? Is Ma Ismok or Ismok. Again, I'm still learning pronunciations. And that one's for a man. And the woman is Ma Ismoki. Ma Ismoki. I think originally in my first video I said me or something else like that, but it's actually ma. Somebody told me that and thank you for that correction. Um, and I've been listening to it on my iPod because I have um, a CD of the Arabic language lesson and again a couple others, but that's what I'm focusing on right now is Arabic at this moment. And again, what is your name for a man? Ma is smoke. What is your name for a woman? Ma is smoky. Um, I've always been interested in other languages, especially ones that come from like um, Asia, mainly because of the script. It's obviously different from English. And it's just beautiful. I'm really thinking about studying calligraphy just in general. I mean, even maybe English-based ones, you know, improving cursive, improving other things because I don't know if it's because I'm a writer and other things, but I'm just fascinated by, you know, different languages and different forms of writing. It's just beautiful in my opinion and it's like an art it's like I don't know writing art I guess you call it I mean is that what calligraphy is I don't know but look at this stuff I mean it's just really cool I'm gonna try and there we go that is actually Um, supposed to be taken from the Quran, I guess. I don't know what a lot of this means yet because I'm still learning, you know, the Arabic alphabet and everything. So I can't put it all together just yet. But I'm learning, you know, just the basic, um, greeting, stuff like that, um, different words. Bint or bint is girl and daughter. Um, what else? Min fadluk. I can't remember if I said that in my last one or not, but that, if I'm correct, means please. Um, bait. I may be saying that wrong, but it means house. Um, Ismi, I believe is my name is, 
and Anamin is from. So it would be for me is me, Stephanie, Anamin, Illinois. That's where I'm originally from. Uh that's about as far as I'm getting at sentence making. I had to stop my lesson for a while, so and I'm slowly remembering certain words and what they mean and sort of starting to form them into small sentences and it's like sometimes I forget what they mean I know like I can tell one's not a greeting and one is one is a polite form of something like you know please thank you you're welcome that kind of thing um, but I'm getting there my pronunciation is still horrible but it's still fun and it's still just beautiful to learn um, a lot of it is back of the throat sounds um, good morning I think is Sabal Elkia but it's really in the back of the throat so I'm saying that last part wrong or Sabal Elkia or something like that again forgive me it's horrible I know but let's get on with something else I'm learning in here besides how badly I pronounce somebody else's language and I will warn you now I'm gonna pronounce these wrong and there's a good chance I don't know it might come out as um it might come out backwards I'm not sure but this is the Arabic alphabet now there are 28 letters. Um, the first one is Alif or Alif. I'm going to do it this way. I am going to hold the camera down. Okay, let's see. If I have to flip it around, give me one second, guys. Okay, that one is a leaf. Ba. Ta. Tha. Yim. Or Jim, I believe. Ha. Ka. Dal. Dal. Ra. Actually, okay, I think I might have forgotten one. Let's go one by one here. There's Alif. Ba. Ta, Tha, Yim or Jim, Ha, Ka, Dal, I think it's the Ha, sorry, we don't know all these, Ra, Zay, Sin, Sheen, Sad, Dad, Ta, Za, Ain, 
gain fa kaf kaf well that may be maybe cloth I'm not sure sorry and again yeah sounds like cough I think One second. Lam Meme Noon I think Ha Wa Ya And I think that's it. Hopefully I didn't miss any. But as you can see it's really unique writing it's written from right to left and usually words or sorry letters much like cursive um, end up being joined together as you can see um, what is it there's one right here see this plus this would equal this and you read as I said from right to left so it's different from English. You know, words be right the other way, they go this way. Now I will show you some of what I have done. It's really bad too. But there's my attempt at writing in Arabic. And there's bait, bun, bint. Uh, that means that I'm in somebody's house. They get Baba, Anna, V, Bite, Fabit, maybe. Dean is religion, Nar, Fire. Yep. So, there's more Arabic for everybody. <laughs>